From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Sponsored by Murray Roofing. Good morning. This is Craig Allison with your Morning Pulse for Friday, July 19th. We are still brought to you by Murray Roofing. But as you can see, we're having technical difficulties, which actually perfectly goes into our first story of the day. An overnight outage, blue screen computers across the globe. This has impacted businesses such as banks, media outlets, 911 call centers, even airlines. The FAA responded to the outage by ground stopping flights in the U.S. Some television stations have been knocked off the air. And CrowdStrike, a U.S. cybersecurity company, has admitted to the error, saying they are working to resolve the issue. Our second story, the trial for Joshua Tackett, the Lincoln man facing child abuse charges in connection to the death of a 22-month-old boy, is underway. Last night, family and friends gathered to honor the life of the toddler, Rudy Jr. They say Rudy Jr. was covered in bruises the night he was taken to the hospital in March of last year and died a few days later from his injuries. Rudy Jr.'s mother, Brittany Cook, is also facing a felony child abuse charge and her trial is set to begin in September. Your third story in York County, a stretch of Highway 34, has seen a number of deadly crashes in the same area. Rumble bars have been installed near Highway 81 intersection west of town. In the last two months, six people have been killed in crashes in that area. The first happened on May 24th, with the two most recent happening last week. After the last one, the Sheriff's Department reached out to a state senator to see what could be done to alleviate some of these crashes. While this addition won't prevent all crashes, the hope is to minimize the problem. And your fourth story, University of Florida President and former Nebraska Senator Ben Sass announced he will be resigning from his position at Florida later this month. This comes after his wife was recently not diagnosed with epilepsy. Sass said yesterday he still plans on remaining involved at the university in a teaching or advising role. And on the lighter side, an update for sports fans. Important schedule change for Cornhusker events. August August 24th will be both the volleyball and football fan days. Volleyball will be from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Devaney Center, and football will be at the Hawks Championship Center from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. You can find more details about this upcoming fan day by heading to our website, 1011now.com. And to wrap things up, here is a look at your seven-day. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Sponsored by Murray Roofing.